Hey what's up guys Rishav here welcome back to the channel so first of all i want to wish you all a very happy new year and i hope 2021 will be a better year than 2020 with that said let's get into today's video in this video we will be taking a look at evolution os based on android 11 evolution os is an aosp based rom which aims to provide a pixel like experience with additional customization features to make it look as per your taste In this video we will be taking a look at all the features it has to offer and share my experience with this rom and tell you whether you should be using it as a daily driver or not. Let's first check out the features it has to offer. We have a separate section under settings for customization. called the evolver it got plenty of options to play around we have the status bar notification quick settings navigation and lot more customization options which is also present on most of the other asp rom but the implementation is just better here there isn't any glitches or anything awkward because of the customization it does misses out on some of the features like quick setting header design which is there in most of the other asp rom but still it's quite a lot of options to play around the regular android 11 features are also working perfectly whether it's a gesture navigation or text select feature through recent panel all are working without any major problem and the display section we get an option to choose the color temperature and color calibration to make your display look as per your taste then we have the theming section where you can choose the type of dark mode then we have the clock style for lock screen fonts and icon shapes which changes the icon shape all over the ui including the quick settings and the settings menu so yep a plenty of features to play around now let's get into the usage part so i have been using this rom for past couple of weeks and till now i haven't faced any major issues rom felt smooth there isn't any much of a hiccups or lag RAM management too is pretty awesome. I use this app called Don't Kill My Apps to check its RAM management and the score I get is 100%. That means it hadn't closed any of the apps in the background while on standby. The battery life isn't the best. I can't say it's worst. You get around 8 to 9 hours of screen on time depending on your usage. But if you want the best battery life out of your phone, you can check out some other ROMs like ROS or MSM extended I had already made a video on them you can check that out Now other regular stuffs like Volti Bluetooth Wi-Fi are working without any major issues For camera we have Google Camera Go as default camera app and you know the drill you must install the dedicated Gcam for the Poco M2 Pro I had already made a video on it so make sure to check that video for more details For now here are some of the sample shots from this rom. So, is it the rom you should use it as a daily rom? Well, definitely this is one of the most stable rom out there. Of course, it doesn't has the best battery backup and misses out on lots of features, but to compensate for that, it has a really great performance. So, yeah, if performance and stability is your number one priority, then this rom is for you. Now for installation simply boot into the recovery wipe system data cache and flash the rom zip file again perform a factory reset and you are good to go If for some reason your rom doesn't boot up flash the decrypt zip file Also there is a new update for the recovery available for me at all series which fixes this encryption problem I'll make sure to drop the link of both the rom and the recovery in the description section below so do check them out Okay that's pretty much it if you have any questions regarding this rom feel free to comment down below also subscribe the channel if you haven't already until then thanks for watching talk to you guys in the next one